In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can make this draggable frame system or window system. So you click at the top here on the window part and you can move it around like an actual window, uh, like on a computer and drag it around. If you let go, then it keeps it in that place where you just dropped it. So the first thing we need to do is make our GUI. So I'm going to go over to my Explorer, start a GUI. I'm gonna insert a new screen GUI and I'm going to make a frame. By the way guys, if you are making your own custom frame and not making it like mine, some things that you need to keep in mind while making it is you need to have your actual frame body like I had at the beginning, and you also need a top bar, uh, which is a text label, so you need somewhere basically where you can drag it. If you are not following me, uh, keep those things in mind, but if you are following me, then follow these directions. I'm going to set the anchor point of this to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and I'm going to set the position to 0 0.5, comma 0, comma 0, 0.5, comma 0. And from here, I'm going to go up to my plugins tab and basically make it so it is in scale. The position, well, it was already was, but our size is now in scale. So now we can drag it to the size I want it. So I'm just going to make it like this and basically position it back to the middle like it is now and we can uh, keep adding on to it so now i'm going to insert a ui corner and ui stroke into here to basically make it better uh, make it look better so if you want to copy these you can this is my ui corner and oh uh, these are this is my ui stroke so you guys can copy these if you want uh, so it's just to make our frame look better so now we need to make the top bar of our frame. So I'm going to insert a text label into our frame. This serves as our top bar. Again, set the anchor point to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. I'm going to make it so it's in scale instead of offset. And I'm going to leave background transparency to 0. And I'm also going to change this to 0, uh, 2333. So it changes the color to like an almost black color. I'm going to position it at the top here stretch it across so that it looks kind of like a window like I have here. Maybe I can shrink it down a little bit so it looks like a window like I have here. And I don't think there's really anything else we need to change here. Uh, if we go to our device emulator, it looks like this. Everything should look pretty good, but we can also add a aspect uh, ratio constraint to keep the size on all devices so I'm gonna change this to 1.5 it looks good if we go back to our devices uh, looks all good also I can see the text on the text label there so probably set the text of the text label to nothing so that you do not see it on any of our devices and that's pretty much our window frame done and so to actually make this work I am going to be using module scripts uh, so that I can add frames to our window dragging. So I'm insert a module script in replicated storage. And I'm going to call this draggable frames. And so we have our draggable frames. I'm going to copy this, put it here for a module. And we can begin by getting our user input service. And I'm also going to get our camera that's in the workspace. So game dot workspace wafer child camera because we want this module script to be called on the client uh, I'm, we can put those together and then down here we're going to get a few things like mouse position will be equal to nil local frame position will be equal to nil local draggable is equal to nil and one more thing is well maybe we don't need it okay so we're just going to create our function now so let me i think this is good okay so function draggable frames and i'm going to call add so we're going to add our frame which obviously will be a frame and our top bar which is a text label all right so we're going to say top bar oh i said top bar okay so this needs to be top top bar okay so there we go top bar dot uh input began connect function and then get our input if input dot user input type 
we need our user input type is equal equal to enum dot user input type dot mouse button one or input dot user input type is equal equal to enum dot user input type dot touch then this makes it so it's compatible with uh, PC players and also mobile players. If you tried this on a console, it really wouldn't work because, you know, how they even work with an Xbox controller or PS4, you know, whatever. It didn't. It doesn't really make much sense. But here, we're going to say draggable is equal to true. Mouse position will be equal to a new vector2 value. And then here, we're going to say input.position.x and input.position.y. We're going to say frame position will be equal to vector two dot new with the frame position x scale and also the frames uh, position y scale so y dot scale now that we have that that's uh, it for our input began function I'm gonna copy this uh, input began function put it down here make sure you change this to input ended and set draggable to false and then you want to get rid of this mouse position and frame position just like this so it's just this simple input ended function from here we're using the in user input service so user input service dot input uh, changed connect function inputs and game processed events so then we're going to say if game processed event then return end. This is to make sure we are not typing in chat uh, when our input is changed. So that's what it is uh, checking for. I want to check for if draggable is equal to true. So we are actually checking if we are like trying to drag the object. Ignore what <laughs> Roblox is trying to give me. And we're going to say local new position will be equal to the frames position plus. And we're going to do double brackets like two brackets here and I say vector two dot new and the vector two we're gonna say input dot position dot x comma input dot position dot y let me uh make sure you guys can see a little bit better and then out here we're gonna say minus mouse position and then outside of this we're gonna say divided by camera dot viewport size so we've made our new position uh, right here and then we are going to set the position so frame dot position will go to utem 2 dot new new position dot x zero new position dot y uh, comma zero and that is basically our module script done you can go back to your world and we're going to go over to our screen UI and insert a local script into our screen UI and this is where we can actually make it work so obviously we need our module script, so we're going to get our draggable frames, and we are going to say draggable frames dot add, but we also need our frame and our text label. So I'm going to say local frame, and you go to script up here, wait for child frame, and our top bar, uh, which is uh, frame, wait for child top, uh, well, hi, <laughs> it's called text label, I should probably rename that to top bar, so I'm going to rename this to top bar, and then we can say dot bar in here so into our function we're going to pass in our frame and then our top bar head into your guys's game and we can see we have our frame here and I am trying to drag my main frame it's not working but when I put it over my top bar here I can then drag it around my screen I let go puts it in place and I can drag it to whichever corner of my screen wherever I want it on my screen so let's say we get rid of our explorer and properties over here. We can then move it in this space and everything works with our window size, our viewport size of our camera as it is in the script and everything still works. So I'm gonna add another thing to our module script and what I'm gonna add here is the ability to reset our frames position back to the middle of the screen. So draggable frames, or when you actually need to say function first. So function draggable frames dot reset and this is going to be our frame and we're going to say frame position we've got the vector not vector we've got the utem 2 dot new and 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 so whenever we call this reset function it will reset so I'm going to wait a few seconds like 
three. I'm going to say draggable frames dot reset and we're going to pass in our frame. So if I drag around my frame, a few seconds should go by unless I did something wrong here. But it should reset. Maybe I should do this another way. So what I'm actually going to do instead is insert a temporary text button. I'm not going to customize this button. I'm just going to put it over here. And this is basically going to be our redo button. So I'm just going to get it real quick. So like reset or redo is going to frame. Wait for child uh, text button. And this is basically when we click on this mouse button one click connect function. This will make it so it'll reset. So I put it at the bottom of my frame here. So when I move it around, like say in the corner and I want to reset it, this button serves as the reset button. Uh, when we click on it, it puts it back to the middle of our screen. If you guys did learn something from this video, or if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.